stock market. Now, many of you might have heard in the news or from family or friends about a new disease, and that disease is called the coronavirus. So today's lesson is gonna be all about what the coronavirus, both in the media and in reality, have to do with the stock market and how it can influence it. All right, so that being said, does anyone in the class have any questions about the coronavirus and how it may impact the stock market? Yes, Amani. So Mr. Taggart, since this is a disease and it has nothing to really do with actual money or finances in the stock market, why are people making such a big deal about it? So first and foremost, the disease is really important in terms of stock markets because of where it originates. So the disease originally, as far as we know, came from mainland China. And here in America, the United States, so many of our goods and technologies and products that we consume every single day come from China. So the fears of that spreading to the U.S. domestically are very real. So additionally, Imani, it's really important to talk about, you know, some more things that the coronavirus can do to the stock market. Basically, the coronavirus, it's scary, right? And that fear is what's so important as to why we're seeing the stock market decline. So here I have a graph showing a little bit of the stock market through 2019. At the beginning of 2020, it was doing really well. And then coronavirus fears hit. And that's exactly what it was. It was fear and in that fear there's uncertainty so when you talk about the relationship between coronavirus and the stock market it's that fear and uncertainty that has investors leaving the stock market and that's why you see its decline anyone else in the class have any other questions yes awesome uh, mr taggett how will a mass amount of people being quarantined affect local businesses and therefore the stock market so that's another great question thank you so much for asking it officer um, when you think about people who get quarantined or have to be separated from their jobs Think about all the lost wages. So a lot of people might not have a lot of money to begin with, and if you take them out of their jobs, their incomes go down. As a result of that, people may start spending less, or there might be businesses that aren't open as often, and that's really, really bad for the economy as a whole. Now what we know about the stock market in specific is that the stock market isn't necessarily the economy, but we know it's a good indication of how the economy as a whole is doing. So at a small business level, if we see more and more people not at, at work or going to work and small businesses shut down, it could be a really bad thing for the middle class. All right, class, so that basically con concludes today's lesson. Um, on Wednesday, when we reconvene, um, I'd like all of you to prepare a brief three to five minute summary of everything we talked about today, as well as some of your own takeaways about how the coronavirus can affect the stock market. So I hope to see you all there. Thanks. So I'm specifically talking about the coronavirus's effect on travel, uh, more specific airline travel. So Trump just issued a travel ban to Europe for 30 days. Um, this will have a severe impact on all the airlines, not in the US, not only in the US, but worldwide as well. Um, you also see a severe decline in travel throughout the US because of People are scared to travel um, because they do not want to contract the coronavirus. Um, some stats, Norwegian Air laid off about 50% of all of its employees. United and Delta are both down over 20%. Um, Americans down 17%. British Airways is down 16%. And then airlines as a collective whole are down over 30% total. This will not only have an effect on their individual stocks and companies, but they'll also have an effect on all directly related companies and their stocks as well. So I was researching uh, China's role and their effect on the global GDP. China makes up about 15% of the global GDP, and with everything going on over there, we can expect a 3.3% decrease in global GDP growth rate. 8% um, of in China's stock market dropped 8% immediately after the Lunar New Year, which was when it wasn't even as bad as it is now. And this means that it shut down factories for weeks after the outbreak. Um, how that impacts the global market and how it would impact the U.S. stock market for example, a company like Apple has 290 of their 800 suppliers in China, and 42 of them were closed at the time of the outbreak. And just many technological companies in general are struggling because China is a large producer and consumer of technology. So we can expect a lot of things in the NASDAQ in general, a lot of companies and stuff in the market to drop in value and a lot of people to be worried. So to end the presentation, we're gonna talk about some other major effects and how they can have an effect on the global economy and the stock market, stock market as a whole. So first will be low productivity, um, with a lot of people getting sick and trying to prevent diseases. A lot of people will be staying away from work. So this could really have a big impact on large businesses um, and the way they produce and the way they sell and really slow down profits and 
um, how much product is hitting the market. Um, next will be the cancellation of big events. So we've seen like in the past couple of days, a lot of the big tournaments have been canceled um, and this can have a really bad effect on revenues for um, stadiums and a lot of big companies as well that use these platforms to kind of market and reach a larger, larger audience. School closures obviously are turning into a big idea because a lot of people are going away from campuses on college campuses and so are we seeing our area high schools and elementary schools being closed which um, can really limit and put teachers out of work as well. Um, restrictions on small businesses again, um, a lot of these people really won't be able to go to work and these smaller businesses are now not only having to compete with larger companies but now the resources are going to be really limited for them as well. It also hurts supply chains and manufacturing, um, for especially for like a company, company like Apple where 67% of um, their manufacturing um, origins are in other countries outside the United States. So a company like that can really have a hard time adjusting and um, in order to pre create these products, which gives them so much success. And lastly, the tour tourism industry has seen a lot of fall because 55% um, of the number of passengers has decreased since the beginning of the Lunar year, New Year. So this affects um, airline companies and hotel companies. So I'll leave you with this. <clears throat> the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down nearly 40% uh, to start the year off of its high of 29,500, basically in January. And that's really real. That's, those are real scary things that people have to deal with. So in terms of 401ks or small businesses that we talked about earlier, the coronavirus has shaved trillions of dollars, not just off the stock market, but out of people's pockets in general. So thank you so much for all your time today. And Really appreciate it.